So in my video number 410, I built a, uh, a headphone amplifier and mixer for my wife's uh, keyboard, a two input mixed together for one output uh, headphone amp. And uh, as soon as I built it, I thought, well, you know what I should have done? I should have built a stereo version of it, and that would have been a lot more wiring. So I said, well, heck, PC boards are cheap, so let me lay one out. And so uh, here's the schematic for the thing. It's really easy. There's two LM386s and uh, two inputs. Um, they all get mixed through 2K resistors and then they're output um, onto the headphone jack. So that's basically it. It's really, really simple. And the uh, PC board ended up very simple too. I laid it out so it would fit one of my project boxes. And then the part of the PC board, about half of the PC board wasn't used. So I went ahead and put a prototyping area there. And uh, I just got back the boards today, so let's take a look at them. Okay, here are the boards. Uh, they came out great, as always. Uh, I got five boards, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five boards. And um, here, I'll show you one of them. And it looks just like the layout. Um, there's two inputs and one output for these are for uh, connectors. And there's a 12 volt uh, power jack here. Uh, the two amplifiers, and then on the back is uh, uh, the prototype area over here. And I made it surface mount because I can. So uh, yeah, let's get it uh, let's get it loaded up. All right, so I like these little boxes to hold the surface mount parts. They're they're really great. Um, so I have um, I have one set here. So I've got all I bought all these parts at junk stores. I buy, you know, partial reels of, of surface mount parts that nobody wants, and um, people don't really like the big ones anymore anyway. The 0805s. I like the 0805s. Um, so these are uh, one ohm through 3.3k, various values that I found at the junk store, uh, but a pretty good assortment. Um, and then it goes from. Well, here here's the whole assortment. Let's see here, let me, uh, let me see if I can zoom in on that. There we go. Um, so one through 33.3 and 4.7 to one mega ohm. So very nice assortment of, of resistors. So when I design circuits at home, I, I try to pick these values out. And so like this board uh, uses some 51s, which I have, and it uses some, um, Let's see, two Ks, uh, which I have, of course. Anyway, I designed it around this, around what I had, and then this block of uh, of surface mount parts are all my capacitors. Capacitors are a little harder to get at the junk store. Um, I've got from 27 picofarads up to 47 microfarads, but a pretty sparse assortment. Um, <clears throat> 0.01, 0.1. 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 2, 10. So anyway, um, but enough to enough to build most circuits with. I'd like to get a few more of these, but like I said, they're kind of hard to find. I don't know why. It's easy to find resistors. It's harder to find capacitors. All right, so let's uh, let's uh, put some on the board. Okay, the board's out of the oven. Looks great. No touch-up is required. Everything everything looks really good. So I'll add. Uh, Add a couple ICs, some capacitors. I've got my uh, got my power connector. Uh, I need to go into the drawer and find my uh, my audio jacks, and uh, I'll be done. All right. Will those fit good?
All right, so before I uh, power this thing up, I'm going to uh, see if make make sure that the uh, uh, power power and ground and everything is okay uh, before I put down the ICs. Uh, I don't want to uh, don't want to blow up the ICs and then have to desolder them. So let me get some of the major continuity with. Okay, plus 12 comes in here, goes there, goes there, and ground. Uh, ground should be over here. Let's see here. Ground is over there. Are these grounded? No. There's ground. There's ground. And there should be ground here. On there, that looks pretty good. Looking good, looking very professional. <laughs> 